Hey guys, it's Mrs. Simpson again. I'm gonna go ahead and take you through the next part of an activity. And you might remember you just made these cute friendship pins that you can put on your shoes or a backpack or something. But the whole point of a friendship pin is you're going to share it with a friend. Well, right now with social distancing, it's not like you can just run up to the cafeteria and swap pins, a very fond memory from when I was in middle school. But you know, you can always send something in the mail. Now, a warning about sending things in the mail. These are really, really small. So if you put one or two of these in an envelope, it's not gonna make the envelope so heavy that one stamp won't pay to have it sent to your friend's house. If you put very much more in there, though, they may just send it back to you. So first, let's talk about what you might write in a note to a friend. And you have to pick who you're gonna write to. You guys are gonna pick somebody in your group. I'm gonna pick um, my friend and colleague, Stephanie Gannabin, from over at Shawnee Mission North High School. You know, she's been having kind of a rough transition to digital learning and, and she might use like a sweet little note to make her feel good. Getting stuff in the mail is fun, right? Especially when it's not a bill. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write today's date and I'm gonna write it as 9-1-20. And there's different ways you can write the date, but that's fine. Notice I'm using um, a blue pen um, you always want to use a dark color, blue or black, especially on professional communication. And I'm going to write a really short note. I'm going to say, Dear Stephanie, because I'm going to use her first name because we're friends. And I do a comma. And then I'm going to go down to the next line. And she loves the Golden Girls. So I'm just gonna say thank you for being a friend, like the song from the Golden Girls, cause she'll think that's funny and, and it's like kind of sweet and, and she'll be into it. So it doesn't have to be a long note. Okay, so I wrote my note and you can write more than that if you want to, but I'm, I'm keeping it short. And now I have to sign off. And we have been friends for 18 years. I feel like she's like my sister and not just my friend. I think love is totally appropriate for that kind of relationship. You might just write your friend or you might write something else like that. All right, so there's my note. My note's done. I'm gonna set it aside. I have to get the envelope ready. Now I'll bet a lot of you have never addressed an envelope and sent it in the snail mail. So this is gonna be something good to know in case you ever have to do it. So the first thing is you wanna make sure you got your envelope going the right way up. So see how when I unfold my envelope, it's like pointy up here. It's pointing upwards. So that way the envelope, like when you go to open it, everything's going the right direction. So the first thing I have to do is write the return address. That's like my address. If something goes wrong, Stephanie can't get the letter, it goes to the wrong place, they're gonna send it back to me so somebody else doesn't get my personal mail. So I'm gonna send it to myself here at South High School where I work, since we're doing a work thing. And I'm just gonna write my last name, kinda smallish up in the upper left corner. Next, I'm gonna write the address of the school, um, which is where I am. You might write your home address if you're sending one from home, but I'm, I'm sending this from work. And our address is 5800, that's our building number, West 107th Street, that's our street. And then I'm gonna go down to the next line. I'm gonna write our city and our state and our zip code, Overland Park, Kansas. Overland Park is our city. KS is the abbreviation for Kansas, and that's the state we live in. And the zip code here is 66207. And I know I write my sevens funny. It's because my grandpa was from Austria and he taught me to write my numbers. That's how they write their sevens there. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and write the main address. This is so the mail goes to Stephanie. And I'm gonna be a little bit formal. I'm gonna say Ms. Stephanie Ganavan. And you know, I don't know if I have perfect handwriting. It's not like terrible, but it's legible. I'm trying to write neatly. And she teaches at North. So I'm gonna write the address for Shawnee Mission North, which is 7401 Johnson Drive. So 7401 Johnson Drive. DR is the abbreviation for drive. Now I'm gonna skip down to the next line and this is the city, state, and zip code, just, just like I did up here. And it's Overland Park, Kansas. 
but the zip code's going to be different at north. They're a little bit further up the road. 66202 is the zip code there. All right, looks good. Now, one thing I can't forget to do is put a stamp on my letter. Otherwise, it's just going to come right back to me. So I've got my stamp. I'm going to peel off the backing. Back in the day, you used to have to lick them. You don't see that so much anymore. I'm going to put it in the upper right-hand corner, kind of nice and straight and tidy and going the right way. Make sure I stick it down real good. And now it's time to put things in the envelope and seal it up. So I'm going to take my letter and see how like the pretty fun like part, it says wow on the front. I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to make sure that when I put it in the envelope, that's facing out so that when she opens it, that's the first thing she sees. And because friendship pins are pretty tiny, I'll bet I can put two of them in there and it won't make the envelope too heavy or too weird. And look, I did North colors because she teaches it North. I'm just going to drop those in the envelope. And now I'm going to close it. Now you can take like a damp cloth and do this. I'm going to go ahead and lick it. Um, so you're going to be out of the frame for a minute. Oh, looking. And once you do that, you want to make sure you seal it down. Make sure it stays. And look. I have a note ready to send my friend Stephanie with a fun surprise inside. So I want you guys to do the same thing in your groups. Go ahead and talk through addressing your envelopes. Go ahead and put a pin inside the envelope and make sure that you're sending at least one out to somebody in your group. All right. I will see you guys soon. Bye.